Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoid and this is my unboxing and product tour of a brand new HP laptop I ordered in to bring you this video. This is an HP Pavilion DV6 laptop. It features Beats Audio. Before I unbox it, let's just pull this box around and we will show you the model number. So it's an HP Pavilion DV6 6002SA. It's got an AMD Phenom 2 quad-core processor and that's running at 1.8 gigahertz, 750 gigabyte hard drive, uh, four gigabytes of DDR3 SD RAM, a DVD optical drive, Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, 15.6 inch LED display. It's got dedicated graphics, which has got 512 megabytes of dedicated uh, video RAM in there, wireless LAN and Bluetooth. And I wanted to bring you an unboxing and some sort of coverage of one of these laptops to give you an idea of what you can get for your money compared to the Apple range of laptops. This particular one is on HP's website and it's going to cost you around about the £449 mark. So this will give you a good idea of what you get for, for £450. So when we open it, we first of all get this start here leaflet and this is going to show you what's in the box, how to insert the battery and setting up your laptop for the first time. So let's pop that down to one side and let's just swing this around. A a bigger product for me to unbox. We've got a little portion in the side here just up the top and this is going to have some cables in so we get a UK three pin power cable. We also get a power adapter. This is going to be a multi voltage power adapter and on one end here we're going to plug that three pin cable and the other end just open this up and this other end is going to go into the laptop to charge the laptop. Have we got anything else down on this side portion? Yes we have. We've got a battery and I believe this is a six cell battery. Let's just take a look. So here we go, notebook battery, 10.8 volt, 55 watt. And if memory serves me right, this is a six cell battery for the laptop. Nothing else down in that side. We have got some technical support and warranty information. Let's pop that box to one side. It's fairly well packed. So it comes in a plastic bag. Turn this uh, up the right way. <clears throat> and this is the HP laptop. As you can see, it's quite a big laptop, but that's down to that 15.6 inch screen. Let's give you a little look around the laptop. So, on the front here, we've got an SD uh, MMC slot. So, this is going to take uh, different memory cards. So, you've got a built in memory card reader. We've got the Beats audio speakers on the front. So, we should have good quality audio. Nice finish to the top. Obviously got this uh, HP logo on here as well. Little tiny mark there, not sure what that is. We'll give that a closer inspection in a minute. On this side we've got that optical drive. We've also got two USB sockets. And I think these are USB 3 sockets on this side. Kensington lock, input for that power cable. Round on the back it just says Hewlett Packard. Round on this side we have got the uh, D sub output for a monitor, HDMI, uh, gigabit Ethernet, two more USB sockets, and then we've got inputs here for uh, microphone, headphones, 
and another headphone socket as well, so two headphone sockets. I noticed just here it says SS on these USB sockets and on this side it doesn't, so it's on this side that we've got the higher speed USB 3 sockets. Let's open this up for the first time, give you a look inside the laptop. We can remove this to reveal the screen. It is a glossy screen, so we've got to deal with the uh, reflections, but you do that on most laptops anyway. And then if I just move this down, we've got an HD webcam at the top there. And let's have a look at the keyboard. Keyboard is a chiclet style keyboard. Nice material used on the inside of the laptop and a nice size trackpad. Click buttons either side. As you can see here, it says super speed USB 3, Beats Audio and LED backlit display. AMD Vision chipset in there and Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit pre-installed. So let's get the battery in the laptop and we'll power it on and give you a look at the screen. So here we go, the audio that I'm recording with now, I've now switched over to the Zoom H2n, which I'm testing just to let you know. The HP laptop has now sort of almost finished its setup. It's telling me to click go to begin. And I assume this is gonna give me some sort of introductory video or guide around the computer. So here we've got options to register the computer. So I'm gonna do that now. So I've completed the online registration process. Now it's asking me about how to stay updated. So I'm gonna say yes to uh, check and install updates. Yes, recommended. Uh, automated PC tune-up. Well, I'm not a big PC user, so I'm gonna select yes for now. Do you wanna help improve HP products? Uh, so it's collect anonymous data. I'm gonna say no to anonymous data. And then click next again. And now we're on to step three. It's asking, do I wanna activate Norton Internet Security? Well, I know enough to say no to that because I'm gonna use just something like AVG uh, antivirus, uh, just a free antivirus thing, which I'll install every now and again and run it. But I don't visit any really dodgy websites, so I'm absolutely sure I don't wanna install Norton. And then we're on the last one. It's saying I am connected to the internet, so I can get online. So I'm going to say finish setup. And there we go. It's saying it has completed. It's given me the option to go back to step three, but I've made my, my decision on that one. And it says, thank you. It's going to now take me to the Windows desktop. Now, whilst that's loading the Windows 7 desktop up, just want to give you another look down here. And just a few bits I missed whilst I was unboxing, and, and mainly because this wasn't switched on as well. But around the trackpad, we've got a glowing illuminated light around here. That's a nice touch, I like that. There's also a fingerprint reader here, which is really cool. So extra security, we can use that to swipe to gain access to the files. Uh, the power on off buttons here, obviously. Another shortcut button here. A little shortcut light to turn wireless on and off. So some nice features there. I also had a little quick play with the keyboard as well, and it feels really nice. There's actually um, pretty much not any flex really in the keyboard, and it gives a nice response when you're typing on it, so that's really good as well. For the money, the build quality, the finish of this is super good. I'm very surprised, and there's very little flex in the body of the keyboard and in the screen. So I'm, I'm extremely pleased with that. Let me just go back up to the screen for you. Now I mentioned during that unboxing that there is an HD webcam up here. It's called, called an HP TrueVision HD web camera. So I'm gonna be checking that out. Upon first startup, it's uh, asking me if I wanna set up my computer or printer, sorry, transfer files, protect, set up backups. So I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Okay, so now we're plugged in via the main so I can run this Windows performance test. And this is gonna test things like the processor, uh, the memory, also the hard drive, etc. And all of the scores are out of a possible 7.9. So it's gonna rate it between one and 7.9. Now, something you didn't see on the camera was whilst I was plugging this into the mains, it asked me if I wanted to switch 
uh, to the, um, uh, the dedicated graphics card. So this is obviously going to give a better score. And I thought that was nice as well. I didn't know that Windows 7 supported that or that this laptop supported this, this feature. But it means that when you're on battery life, it's uh, or battery power, sorry, it's going to switch the graphics to the integrated graphics chipset. And when you're plugged in via your mains adapter, it's going to switch to that higher performing uh, graphics card with the 512 megabyte of dedicated graphics memory. Now, just while this is completing, I will just run through the specifications again, because I'm sure that that will come in handy for you. This is an HP Pavilion DV66002SA, 750 gigabyte hard drive, four gigabytes of RAM. It's got a DVD optical drive, Windows 7 Premium 64-bit is what it's running, 15.6 inch LED display, and it's got Radeon graphics in there as well. I will put the full specifications in the video information panel underneath this video with regards to uh, what exactly what graphics card it's got in here. Um, but just to also recap a little bit on the cost, this was just £449 and that included free delivery. Something else that is also worth noting, and again you don't have to do this, underneath the video I've put a link that takes you through to a site called Quidco. If you sign up, that earns me a little bit of money, it gets you a bonus, and Quidco at the moment are tracking on this laptop, so if you buy this laptop through the Quidco link, you'll get round about 45 to 50 pound cash back. So that makes this come in at round about the 400 pound mark. So I'm gonna pause this video now, and then restart it again once the Windows performance test has completed. So there you go guys, the test is now complete. Let's just run through the scores here. Processor, it scored a possible 6.6 .6 out of 7.9. Memory, 5.9. Graphics, 5.3. Gaming graphics, 6.4. Very good score for a laptop of this price. And the primary hard disk, 5.9. Now, it always does the base score uh, based on the lowest score. So the lowest score is the graphics, so an overall score of 5.3. Now, for a laptop of this price, I think that is an absolutely phenomenal score. I'm very, very pleased with the performance on that. Now, in closing, I'll just show you a couple more things on the laptop, just the brightness of the screen. So if we go down to the lowest brightness, it's hardly workable. And then all the way up to the highest brightness, uh, this won't probably translate over to the video, but that's a little bit washed out for my liking. So we just go down two notches and we've got a nice white uh, background good contrast as well so that works very well so this is my unboxing and overview of the hp pavilion dv6 laptop 449 pounds delivered in the uk i think this is a fantastic little machine for the money thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next one Thank you.